it's Rad. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Rad Kutsarot. And this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Scorpio Rising. A weekly tarot reading for March 11th to March 17th, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Scorpio star sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with uh, every single different Scorpio. So uh, if you want more personal touch, meaning that your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to give you a prediction for it for the future, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find on the very front page of it, a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So uh, the first card for you, Scorpio, which is the topic of your week, that is going to be of, of our week, as I am a Scorpio as well. This is going to be the Knight of Pent uh, the King of Pentacles, excuse me. Then the next card, this is going to be the negative approach to all the situation or the things that we should not do regarding the topic. That is going to be the Page of Swords followed by the third card which is the positive approach toward the situation that is to be the ten of wands and the last one that is going to be the final outcome of growth uh which is going to be the knights of cups and oh my god man <laughs> uh all right so um straight away i can severely recognize myself into these cards uh but I'll, I'll let me show them once again and then I'm going to talk a little bit about, you know, my situation and how these cards refer to me. So we do have the King of Pentacles, then it is the Page of Swords, followed by the Ten of Wands, and then it is the Knight of Cups. So for those who don't know, um, I mentioned it in a couple of my live uh, streams, but I am trying to get back into university. Uh, different special, uh, spe specialization that is, you know, because uh, previous one of mine was uh, engineering, so I entered there with math. But now I got to uh, hold a preliminary exam of Bulgarian language and literature. And my mom was a magister into this science or in this field is preparing me and these cards are showing that this week she is going to bust my ass man it's just going it's unbelievable man all right so that is just what these cards refer to me that but at the end i'm gonna get the hang of it that is what the, the cards are pointing right so Going in general, going completely general about them, the first one refers to a person, so that is going to be our topic. A very well mean person, very sedated one, meaning that he is very patient, very calm, but as well very well aware of what needs to be done. And this person is going to be very generous toward us, but only if there is something for them in it as well. So meaning this ain't charity, guys. This is a, a generosity. Now, if I have re I, if I have to refer to my mom, she's going to be proud of me, you know, being entering into the university uh, with her help, you know. So this is what is in it for her. But yeah, literally this person here is going to cooperate with us. And they're going to be, like I said, very, very generous. Uh, but, you know, only if there is something in it for them as well. So if that is about business partnership, uh, when you kind of like make the negotiations regarding the business, uh, you need to make aware or, or kind of like you need to uh, kind of like put the notes or make that person aware that there is something in it for them. And especially if, uh, if that is someone you date with, guys, uh, it means that this person ain't going to jump uh, into one relationship just because they are experiencing butterflies in the stomach. You know, they, they want reassurance that this relationship can go a long run. They want reassurance that everything is going to be sorted out in it and uh, that they are going to have peace. They can trust you and so on and so forth. And there will be something in that relationship for them as well in it. Now, this person is someone you know, you don't have to watch for them because the um, King of Pentacles points that you are going to put your connections 
into play here. So definitely someone that it, you are already aware of. The additional card to it, this is going to be the Two of Cups. And definitely we can talk about romantic involvement here. But once again, only if you are compatible on a material level with them, meaning, you know, that you do have similar uh, interests that uh, you are not, um, how can I place it? You are not shy to share with them what you are experiencing at this very moment, you know, to display your emotions, to display your feelings. The thing with this person here, uh, Scorpio, it is that they want to know everything. Basically, they want to know every single aspect of the endeavor. So definitely we're talking here about cooperation, most likely uh, <clears throat> with a romance in it. So even if it is about your uh, career, they are going to have emotional attachment to you, the very least. This person is going to like you in one way or another. That's why probably they are going to offer you the generosity here. But also you have to kind of like, you know, return their emotions. So a colleague of yours wants to help you with really difficult problem. Well, they're not helping you out of charity here, guys, but out of generosity, meaning that they do have something for you. So whoever throughout this week, you know, wants to cooperate with you and wants to help you, you need to know that the very least they are taking you as a, a very humble and very reliable person. And should that be, you know, someone that you can date with, you know, uh, so, uh, or someone that you can be in a relationship with, you need to know that they also have emotional attachment, but definitely we're talking about harmonious and very well found cooperation throughout the week. So if you are dating with someone or you are about to start dating with someone, you, you should know, or rather like that is a reassurance here that that person has a, an emotional attachment towards you. But uh, you got to know one thing here is that they contribute exactly as much as you do. All right. So if you kind of like expect that they are going to do always that the, 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 this person is going to always take the initiation. Uh, that's not really going to happen because remember what I said, this person is somewhat sedated, all right? So they don't like to make an initiation. They do have the resources. They do have the means. They like to consolidate on already current endeavors, which from another hand speaks that if that person dates with you, they are not dating with anybody else. Or if that person is helping you, they're not helping anybody else and so on and so forth. So you are kind of the one, which uh, from another standpoint, when I look at the, uh, at the last card here with the Knights of Cups, it strongly suggests that, all right? So um, for you single Scorpios throughout the week, um, it's gonna be a really potent one should you allow that person to date with you. Uh, when they approach you or when they see, or when you see that they want to help you here and there, even if you don't need any help. All right. So that could be as well a big sign for you. OK, so you just display that you have issues, let's say, with certain documents and someone from your environment out of nowhere say, well, oh, OK, I can help you with that. You know, I have the connections, I have the uh, the means and so on and so forth, even if even without you asking about it. OK, so but you should not mistake this help for uh, generosity here. It is out uh, for charity. Excuse me. It is a generous offer, but only if you can give something in um, in return. <clears throat> And as soon as this cooperation starts, once again, uh, you got to share everything in a sense of that, you know, you got to share ideas, you got to share the same standpoint, uh, you got to share emotional connection as well. So if you're feeling bad about something, so uh, kind of like display it to that person, if you're feeling good about something as well, display it to that person either. It's kind of like making contact, you know, from uh, from many different angles and uh, shyness and pride for that matter. It's something that is going to hold you down. It's going to hold you back from um, making this cooperation. Once again, most likely with intimate shade in it, you know, with a, with a shade of romance, but it could be uh, as well, you know, the, the, the prime subject could be something else like business cooperation or a um, teamwork into one career. So uh, how you should not take on this. So we do have the Page of Swords and Page of Swords is a card of conflicts. 
usually when you kind of like constantly argue about this idea, about that idea, about how one, how uh, how much one should kind of like incorporate themselves, how one, how much one should stay aside, and so on and so forth. Now the page here, um, how can I place it? Kind of asks you to if you're going to commit to commit in either way with this person, you gotta follow the lead of the game. Okay, so the the, the rules of the games are already are, are already established, and now it's not the time to present yourself as a tough woman or as a tough guy that uh, <clears throat> have a huge amount of independency and that no one can tell them what they can do and so on and so forth. But with the page as well. Um, you also, as soon as you start cooperating with this person, you also should completely abandon the thoughts that there can be someone else either to help you or to be with. Now, if you commit, your focus should be completely toward that guy or a woman, right? So in my case, to say, uh, should I start, you know, allowing my mother to prepare me for the preliminary exam? Completely, I should neglect any kind of other source of help that I can get, different people, private teachers, schools, and so on and so forth. And of course, I have to comply or oblige, excuse me, to her rules, her house, her knowledge, her rules. I should not, you know, try to make it my way because obviously I'm not ready enough. Okay, so I hope that I make sense here. But yeah, it's kind of like this card asks you to completely submit to the ways and the rules of that guy or a girl or a woman. <clears throat> but that, uh, but because this is a general reading and especially as we don't have not a single major arcana so far, it means that it will be entirely your decision. I mean, you're single, you want to be with someone, this person steps out to help you. That is a sign that they have an emotional connection towards you. And here is the point of decision. You know, you, you can decide, okay, let, let's give it a try. Or you can say, mm, no, you know, I'll just manage myself and kind of like we go different ways. It is completely, completely your decision. Once again, guys, these general readings, they give you the knowledge to know what kind of potential and what kind of opportunities you're going to have. But ultimately, at the end, it depends on you how you're going to play your ha your cards and what decisions you're going to make in order to capitalize on them. This reading is a guidance about how to, to display an opportunity and how to capitalize on it. And, you know, is it going to happen or not? That depends entirely on you. So the next card <clears throat> or the accompanied card of the page, this is going to be the Three of Cups. So the formation here, it is a active neutrals and it's a bit of a, um, how can I place it? It's a, it, it's a bit of a difficult combination. Uh, it's kind of like, it does point it at the start of the cooperation, the um, divisions that you do have, both of you, you know, that person, let's say it's about uh, making a commitment into a relationship, start dating, you know, this person may have a little bit of a different vision upon how dating should go on. Uh, for example, you may want the dates to go out somewhere crazy, partying, you know, discos, pubs, bars, and so on and so forth, while that person may have the vision of dating at home, you know, on a dinner with glass of wine, you know, lit candles, and so on and so forth. So the vision is gonna be a bit different. <clears throat> That could be as well regarding to a uh, career, you know, in any kind of field that that could manifest. But the thing is that you should give it a try. Okay, with these cards, you should give it a try here uh, as the Three of Cups kind of is going to negate the negative effect upon the page where, you know, you're stubborn and you kind of hold on to your original thoughts and to your uh, intellectual agility here. And instead, you know, of being stubborn and having your vision as a crest, you know, of your, um, of your ideals, <clears throat> try to see the situation from their eyes and place themselves into, place yourself, excuse me, into their shoes, just for a moment, just to see if you're gonna like it. You don't know if you're gonna like it or not, but it is important uh, to do so because once you do it here with these couple of cards, it means that the um, 
emotional flow that you are exchanging, you know, emotional abundance in between each other is going to severely e increase. And as well, um, things that you found aggravating before uh, are, no, are, are no longer going to be such an issue. And uh, here the thesis stays or the maxima is, is that there is no such thing as an unpleasant enterprise because it does depend whom you are uh, involving yourself with into it. And it does look like that this is going to be the right person for you to try things, which until this very moment you kind of found, I would say unacceptable, but that is a very kind of like tough word for that, let's say unpleasant. So uh, the next card that we do have for you, Scorpios, this is going to be the 10 of Wands, which is the positive approach toward the situation. So this card points that many things are going to start moving around. And at some point, uh, it does look like that you are going to feel yourself a bit of oppressed from the entirety of life. Meaning that with this person, it just is going to get a little bit too much to involve yourself with. Probably it is because you're going to have different things to do. If I have to give myself as an example, once again, you know, I have to take care for private readings. I have to take care as well for uh, <clears throat> weekly videos. There are other projects that I'm working on that I want to bring to you guys as well. And on top of that, I have to study for the preliminary exam, but it's something unavoidable if I want my goal to be fulfilled. All right. So <clears throat> this is the meaning of this card that you should take that thing which is addition to what you're doing right now okay and try to develop it uh the ten of the ten of wands should you prevail with the heavy responsibilities and with the heavy burdens that the card gives you it does promises you power okay it does promises you the authority at the end to be on the on top of the situation to give you an example of that, uh, let's say that you are uh, career-wise, um, this situation refers to your career. You do have quite a lot of tasks to tackle with. And this week, you know, <clears throat> that person comes around uh, with a, a very kind of like tough project, right? Or they come to help you with a very tough project that you set aside for this very moment. You are not dealing with them, with the project itself, but because the help comes around, it is a good timing for you to as well start that project along with the additional tasks, with the already going tasks that you do have. And it kind of, at some point, you're going to feel overburdened. You're going to feel like, you know, you're burning out and so on and so forth. But uh, it is important when we have the 10 of uh, wants to know what you want. Okay. So <clears throat> I don't know how to express it really, but let's say that there is no easy way for you to achieve the goal of whatever goal that is regarding the cooperation with this guy or with this, uh, with this woman and uh, as you can see the person here um, should you uh, attend the situation with great amount of, of responsibility the situation with this person you know and you don't neglect it and you incorporate it in your already going plan with tasks and so on and so forth uh, it does look like that you are going to have as well great benefits because what we do see here is a person trying to kind of like collect the fruits of its labor. It's just the problem is that the fruits are, are, are kind of like a lot. Okay. Um, so you're going to fill up your basket of, um, of benefits and I hope that you can carry it. Okay. The accompanied card, this is going to be the uh, Ace of Cups and the formation here is active uh, enemies. And uh, the Ace of Cups here points that it is all results, a result of a hard labor, which is something that the uh, Knight of Cups is saying as well. But yeah, it's all going to be a result of a hard labor. And should there be a happy circumstances or, you know, a, a happy situation, situations there and even resolutions to an issue in your life, that is because you did it, not because something, you know, lucky happened around, not because um, 
kind of like you waited someone else to do your job, but because through that cooperation, you did something to improve your circumstances and your circumstances are to be improved throughout the week. One more thing with these cards is that you should kind of like abandon the trifles in your life, things that, uh, that doesn't have a, uh, um, uh, how can I place it, doesn't have a huge amount of su substan substantiability regarding your good fortune. You should completely neglect them. Just, just to give you an example, uh, you are arguing with uh, someone you know, but that person doesn't really have a big um, implication uh, in, in your life and it is irrelevant if they are going to be in a good terms which you are not. It is best, you know, just to neglect that trifle. Same goes regarding relationships, same goes regarding career. It's basically these cards are pointing that you should focus on the grand goal here. Through the cooperation with this person, you know, you actually make a solid progression either regarding career or either regarding relationship. And once again, to repeat guys, this person have somewhat emotional attachment towards you, most likely with an, an intimate, with a, a shade of, uh, of intimacy. And the last card that we do have for you, Scorpio, this is going to be the Knight of Cups, and that is the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot. And I already said one of the aspects here that if that you are going to reach results, a very satisfiable results um, here throughout the week with the cooperation of that guy, you know, results either relationship wise or career wise, which are going to be because you put the efforts and not because something happy or something lucky happened around. But also, uh, as soon as you start placing yourself into their shoes, into that person's shoes, and you are seeing the situation through their eyes, you are likely to find out that you are not utilizing 100% of your maximum. So there is a, a thing you can do well that you are not capitalizing on right now. Or in other words, if the situation looks uh, tough, should you start com contributing into it, should you start, you know, performing, you are going to start getting the hang of it as well. Just like I said at the start, you know, um, it's, it's difficult right now, but should I be, um, should I take it with the full seriousness I can? I being consciousness about it and uh, I put the toils behind it as well. At the end of the week, I'm going to get the hang of it. And with these cards, probably I'm going to prepare very well for the preliminary exam. So from tomorrow, no slacking whatsoever, but today I got to finish these videos. But yeah, also uh, this card points that should you find yourself in a, a place where you are baffled what you got to do and how to do it. And in general, you don't know what is substantial for your life because um, first when I start doing videos, you know, um, I was kind of like reluctant to express myself that way because I didn't want to insult anybody. But there are so many people coming around asking for advice. What should I do? You know, um, what am I supposed to do in these kind of stuff? And that is not just regarding a situation, but regarding life in general. <clears throat> well, through, a, through that cooperation, the Knight of Cups points that you are going to define for yourself what you want. Because the knight always follows the dream of his heart, of his heart, or the dreams of his heart. He's holding the cups that is filled with his most positive emotions in front of him, and he always moves into that direction. So this cooperation is gonna truly fulfill some pleasant yearnings. I cannot say wish fulfilled because the night is not about wish fulfilled, but at the very least it's going to give you the means to move into that direction and it's going to fulfill some pleasant yearnings that you do have at this very moment. The, wow, look at that, man. The additional card that is to be the Page of Cups and we talk about a, this is going to be a, the foundation and the prerequisites of a very, very big change coming into your life with the page here. You are going to readopt positions. You are going to attend to the overview rather than to the minor irritating details, just like I said at the start of the reading here. And as well with the page, you are going to get deeper and deeper into an emotional attachment with this person because the page feels 
uh, how can I place it? The page feels very miserable when not emotionally connected. And before you know it, should you start cooperating with this person, regardless career-wise or relationship-wise, um, you are going to, uh, before you know it, you're going to find out that you are, uh, that you miss them very much and you want to spend more and more time with them. Uh, we're not talking about however affair, uh, however an affair, all right? So if you do have a family, you should, you should not be afraid that that could be a third party coming around and you fall in love with them and so on and so forth. Uh, if you are happily married, you know, well, then these parts, these cards are uh, parts. These cards are pointing that your husband is going to to surprise or wife for that matter is going to surprise you very very much you know with a, a big kind of like investments into the marriage or into your plight that is going to even boost further the love that you do have for one another do not neglect their offer for help this is what is gonna consolidate or kind of like quench your marriage or your relationship for that matter so that being said, Scorpio, this was your weekly tarot reading for March 11 to March 17, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, that was a general reading for Scorpio star sign. And for that reason, the reading is going to resonate in a different way and level for every single different Scorpio. But if you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, just like I did for the few examples in this video, then uh, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there on the very front page of it, you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.